With free next day delivery from Staples, you can run your business like a pro. You can guarantee the marketing department that they'll get their supplies tomorrow and guarantee the accounting department that they'll be delivered free. With free next day delivery, you'll have the ability to move deadlines up and adjust budgets down. Go to staples.com and get the office essentials you need delivered next day for free. Staples, it's pro time. Orders over $49.99, placed by 5 p.m. Excludes weekends and holidays. Eligible items only. Welcome to Blog Talk Radio in high fidelity. You are tuning in to a Goldilocks Productions presentation of the Quantum Path Radio Show with Dennis Anderson. Dennis is a psychic medium, a hypnotist, and spiritual teacher. He has had a gift to perceive the subtle energies from an early age, turning off the gift at the age of 20 to live life, love, and understand human behavior. To have it reawaken again during his late 30s due to a calling that was loud and needed to be answered, Dennis was urged by spirit to learn more, grow more, and share his gifts that others can benefit by exploring their own unique abilities. Call in now if you would like to speak to Dennis. The call in number is 713-955-0594. Press 1 so that you can get into the host queue. Hello everyone and welcome again to another edition of Quantum Path Radio. As stated earlier, my name is Dennis Anderson and behind the curtain is our wonderful producer, Roz, who we like to call Tiffany White. <laughs> or Tiffany White, as we like to call Roz. Anyway, the thing is, is that she's back there. She's pushing all the buttons and uh, taking all the calls and forwarding them off to me. And so I thank her for that. Once again, she always does a bang-up job on that. So, uh, wonderful day today. Let's put it this way. Up here, at least in Ontario anyway, where I am located in Canada, we are having a civic holiday today. So, if you are celebrating that, well, or any other holiday for that matter today, well, I'm happy for you because, hey, a long weekend is is always a good thing. Let's put it that way. Um just a few things to get out of the way. If you are interested in making a, getting a reading done with me today, uh, you can give me a call at 713-955-0594. Or if you decide to uh, get a reading with me later on, where, let's put it this way, we can actually get a little bit more in-depth and a little bit more, I guess you could say, uh, in regards to a proper reading and not just something that's quickly over the phone, you can uh, reach me through my website at dennisjanderson.com uh, or you can uh, get a hold of me at 647-949-1429 and that's my uh, my business line. So feel free to contact me there as well. Plus too, if you're interested, if you do have just even a question or something like that, just in regards to maybe about the process or maybe even in regards to your own spiritual awakening, um, feel free, you know, like to drop me a line or something like that, and I will hopefully answer your questions. Because let's put it this way, there's a lot of people out there, especially right now, like, wow, I, I don't know about you guys out there, but uh, whew, that full moon is uh, kicking a lot of butts. <laughs> like, that full moon is amazing, actually, right now, and there's a lot of releasing that's going on, there's a lot of emotions that are coming up there's a lot of things that are really happening um namely like even this past week here just with my uh regular readings that i have with people um i have had some really amazing connections like uh um and i'll get into it a little bit more as we kind of go on through the show here because I, I want to leave you in your seat, so let's put it that way. Um, but the thing is, is that there is some amazing things. So now is the greatest time for you to actually allow yourself to uh, release some of those things that have been going on in your life. Now, a good uh, way to do it, uh, just as a little practice, is just write down. Like, just take a piece of paper, just 
plain old piece of paper. doesn't make a difference what it is. And uh, with a comfortable pen, just write down all the things that you just want to release. And for some people, it can be releasing of a, of a past lover or love or something like that. Or it could be uh, releasing of the feelings of poverty or lack of abundance. Or maybe it's a releasing of health, maybe something within your own health that you just want to let go of. And that's fine, too. You know, like there's no harm in that. So write it down. Write it in as much detail as you want. And put down, like, and put your emotion into it. See, that's kind of the key thing here is is that emotion is a is a way of, I guess you could say, adding a little extra oomph to your thoughts. Um, now, I'm not saying, like, to put in the the disparaging one so much, I guess. No, actually, yeah, me, you know what, maybe. You know what, if it doesn't feel right and you want to put it in there, then you write it down. It doesn't make a difference. You just write down whatever it is that you so desire. And like I said, feel the emotion as you're writing it in there. And if there's any tears that are shed, that's okay too. You know, like there's no harm in allowing a few tears to be shed now and again. Heaven knows I have in the past, and uh, a lot of people will say, like, because I am a male and so forth, that that that's a sign of weakness. Well, it's not. It's not a sign of weakness at all. As a matter of fact, uh, I know that uh, Betty Jane's husband and I, or whatever, we're we're looking at trying to start up a, uh, a meetup for men, I guess you could say. But the thing is, is that, you know, it's, and it's not a matter of, you know, going to the, let's put it this way, the, uh, uh, a bar or something like that, and just, you know, like talking about guy things like the game and whatever. Well, it's actually, it's allowing ourselves too to be a little bit more vulnerable if we need to, uh, to create support and to create connection, okay, with other men. And sometimes, and especially now, too, in some ways, there seems to be, uh, uh, I guess you could say, it's almost like an overall feel um, from many men that I've experienced anyway, where they almost feel like, well, you know, like everything is focusing on, on the female perspective, which is fine, you know, and that's okay. You know, like uh, it is supposed to be equal and it is supposed to be a, a common thing and shared, you know, like because it's, that's the universe. It's it's light and dark, left and right, uh, masculine, feminine, and there should be equal sharing amongst the two. And the thing is, is um, allowing yourself to really, as a guy, is to connect, you know, with your your masculine self, as well as your feminine self. You know, like it's a sharing, and that's the thing there. So it's okay to be vulnerable, and it's okay to, you know, like shed a tear now and again. It's not, like I said, that's not a sign of weakness as far as I'm concerned. That really is a sign of strength. And if you allow yourself to uh, connect that way, you know, you'll just come out of it much stronger. So as I was saying about the, uh, the full moon sort of energy happening and going on right now, um let's put it this way like now is a perfect time uh to write down all those feelings all those thoughts all those emotions everything that you just want to release and let go of write it down on that piece of paper and you can rip it up you can burn it you can do whatever you know but create a little ritual for yourself so that this way it's like i am now and even say it out loud, I am now releasing all of these things that I no longer need, want, or that I've been holding on to for so long. I am going to now allow it to go back to the universe so that this way it no longer affects me. And if you do that, you know, you put that into a practice and put that into the ritual, you will be surprised at just how quickly you will feel some changes. Uh, I know I have uh, myself actually been putting myself through some rituals lately, um, and I hope to be creating something here so that uh, any of you listeners can also download it. Um, and then this way what will end up happening is, like I said, that it will create a, a, a something within you that will shift and that will move you forward, okay? And that's the big thing here, 
is moving yourself forward. So, from the looks of it, I already have a caller. So, if Tiffany could bring through caller 201, please, that would be fantastic. Hello. Hi, how are you? I'm good. Thank you for taking my call. Oh, it's my pleasure. So, what's your name, dear? My name is Rose. Hi, Rose. It's a lovely name that you have. Thank you. So what can I do for you? Um, are you... Are you doing many readings? I I sure am. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Just want to make sure. Um, well, that's okay. Yeah. Do you no, see no. any travel in my future? I would love to reunite with someone very special, but I'm not sure if I can afford it right now. But I want to know what you see. Maybe I can manifest a trip. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so where are you calling from? New Jersey. New Jersey. Well, how's things on the coast? Oh, Hopefully it's been it's nice. raining all day. Oh, well, that's no good. It's been kind of cloudy here, too, actually, with little spots of rain as well. So I think Where it's kind you? of the... Uh, I'm just out of Toronto and Ontario. Yeah, you so, did say. Yeah. So let's put it this way. Yeah, we get our, our uh, aspects of, you know, rain and so forth as well, so... As heaven knows this year, too. So anyway, going back to your question in regards to traveling and reuniting with your loved one, I guess you could say, or the, the one that you missed. Yes. Well, let's put it this way. Like, I just kind of put out a few cards just for fun as I was kind of tuning in, too. Because as I was tuning in, I was actually getting that yes, you know, like the quick and basic answer here is yes. You know, like, it feels like you are actually going to um, make things work in such a way where you're actually going to meet this person. Uh, it actually feels pretty good for you to actually do so. Um, because I'm actually getting, like, let's put it this way, that there is a lot of, um, you know, like the energy is building up for that. And honestly, what I am kind of getting here is that I've got a funny feeling you're going to end up getting a little bit of an unexpected surprise in regards to uh, money or something like that. Uh, so let's put How? it this way. How? How? <laughs> How? It just... Honestly, Did I what it comes the lottery? To <laughs> That's the yeah. only way. <laughs> if there was a lottery and I could tune into it, trust me, I'd pick up on that sucker too. <laughs> oh, I and don't know how I'd else. I love that. But now, aside from the, the winning the lottery, which would be lovely and be nice for you, and I, I do hope that you do that. Uh, <laughs> and if you do, just remember who to call to give half. <laughs> <laughs> so. <laughs> Okay, not half, maybe 25%. <laughs> 20, 20 at the least, okay, so we'll go with that. 20, 20%. Mm. Anyway, what I am getting, though, is that it feels like there's a male figure, actually, that's actually going to help you out in regards to giving you some money uh, to make this trip kind of come true. Uh, it does feel like it is a little bit of a distance, though. Uh, let's put it that way. Uh, how far away is this uh, person? Oh, he's in Tennessee. I'm in New Jersey. He's far. Uh, okay. Well, that's not as far as you think. Let's put it that way. Because I am getting that somebody is going to uh, give you a little bit of extra money to basically kind of make your way down there. And it could very well be him. Uh, but it, let's put it this way. This person that I'm getting here is a little bit older is what it feels like. And it definitely feels like um, that, hmm, it's almost like they're they're going to be giving you, it's like a little gift uh, type of thing where you can actually travel there and you could actually spend a little bit of time there as well. Uh, so it does feel pretty good. Now, the only thing is, though, is um, there's going to be some definite changes going on there, okay? And what I mean by changes, it, it almost feels as if, uh, you're going to start to become a little bit more aware of what's happening and what's going on in, in that relationship, too. It's almost like there's, um, it's going to take it to another level and to another depth. Let's put it that way, okay? Um, so the thing is, is that it can be a very good thing for you. Let's put it um, that way. Well, he's okay. a very good friend of mine, and it's, I would love to. I would love for that to happen. So thank you very much. You're very welcome. And like I said, I think there's going to be some some really good 
connection there. Let's put it that way. Um, so, uh, yeah, I wouldn't be too worried. Let's put it that way. I think it's coming. It's just a matter of, honestly, what a, uh, the first thing that pops into my mind here is in, in about, I almost want to say three or four weeks uh, where something is going to come up where you're actually going to be able to make some plans to do that. Well, right now I'm not working. Do you see me getting a job? Is is, is that a possibility in the near future? That is actually a very good possibility uh, because there is an aspect here that goes along with, like, uh, one of the cards I actually got here was the Ace of Pentacles, and sometimes that one there is actually telling me right off the bat that, let's put it this way, that's kind of like a new job sort of feel to it. Okay. Now, the only thing is, those is that now when you're kind of working into that job, there's going to be some, let's put it this way, you're going to be kind of focusing on the work aspect. Um, huh. But I'm actually getting those that it feels almost as if you're not really applying to the right place yet. Something okay. doesn't feel right. Okay. Um, so keep your eyes open. Uh, for the opportunities and keep asking for the opportunities and I think they're going to come to you, okay? Okay, thank you. Yeah, you're very welcome. My pleasure and have yourself a wonderful night. And the same to you. Thank you very much. Okay. So, as we uh, go through our first caller here, um, as I was saying, though, is is that uh, previously, anyway, with... uh, uh, a lot of releasing can be done during this full moon. And like I said, I've been going through some rituals myself to look at, let's put it this way, like we're all energy. And all of our bodies, all of our systems, everything within us is energetic. You know, like there is nothing that is not moving. Because on an atomic and subatomic level, everything moves, everything is changing, everything is always in motion. You know, and, and it's not just our own physical bodies, but all the way down deep into the atomic, subatomic level. Like everything is still in motion, even when we're perfectly still. So I like to look at the soul as, uh, like, we're, we're kind of, I, I guess you could say, I like to look at it as is that we're part of a, a smaller part of a larger soul, an oversoul, let's call it that. And with that uh, aspect of it, like, you know, let's put it this way. There's only maybe, let's call it even 10, 15%, something like that, Uh, maybe even less, who knows, of our oversoul within us right now. We have that connection. And in turn, that oversoul is, I guess you could say, part of a bigger aspect, you know, and then you can go all the way up into basically until you reach the universe or God or source energy, whatever you want to call it. So the thing is, is that if you look at it now down to the, from the, 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 I guess you could say, what would that be, macrocosm, microcosm? I don't know, one of those cosms anyway. (laughs) But anyway, as as you scale it back down, okay, down to the, um, down to our our organ level, okay? Now all of our organs have various aspects of our soul or a piece of our full, total soul. So our organs have have a consciousness. And within those organs are cells, individual cells, and they have their own bit of consciousness as well. And then you can take it all the way down to the DNA level where everything has an aspect or a small part of our consciousness. And it all adds up cumulatively to into something much larger. So when you release uh, that aspect of whatever it is that you want to release, whether it be a, a loved one that has moved on, or maybe it's a uh, another, like I said, maybe it's a health issue or something like that. And it, but you start off with the energy, okay? And that's the thing there. You start off with the energy of that feeling, and sometimes that energy is related emo- within an emotion. 
So when you release those emotions and you're writing everything down on paper, and just like I said, just go gangbusters on it. Write down as much as possible. Like, And who cares about grammar? Who cares about punctuation or anything like that? But write it all down. And like I said, afterwards what you want to do is if you can, if you can get outside um, during the full moon, create yourself a little ritual for it. You know, like allow yourself to just take a few deep breaths in, you know, and then you can just kind of release, light that piece of paper on fire if you can, if it's safe to do so. If not, just rip it up into uh, as many little pieces as possible. And then you can obviously just throw it in the garbage or whatever. But as you're doing that, imagine all that energy of whatever it is that you're releasing going back into the universe. And when you do that, like I said, there's going to be some very profound changes over the course of time. And you may have to do this once or twice, maybe even three times. Um, And that's okay. You just do it for as long as you need to. But that's when the releasing really, truly, and explicably happens. And then that's when the changes, and that's when your perception and your perspective of life actually fully changes as well. So, you know, like, it, it's it's quite all right to to do so. Sometimes we hold on to stuff a little bit too much, and it becomes a habit. It becomes a, we form a pattern. And you want to release that pattern sometimes. Like I was saying earlier at the beginning of the, or the top of the show, was I had a lady, actually, she called me up and, uh, let's put it this way, she was very much in in grief in many ways. And not just because of, you know, her losing somebody, but it was just life in general. You know, like she was so sad. And she was in a state of despair, and she just wanted something to anchor herself into something better, into something good. So I, I did, you know, I read some things for her, and yes, let's put it this way, um, I definitely picked up a lot of that despair, the the emotion of. It, it almost felt as if she was drowning within herself. And when a person really connects to that emotion of themselves, you know, when they when they feel like there's nothing moving forward. And I was trying to explain to her to say that, you know, like, well, it's okay to feel that now and again, but you can't hold on to it for too long. Because when you do, what does it do? It becomes a habit. It becomes a pattern. And you want to try to release that. And to release that, you have to reach for the next better feeling emotion. Or if you can change it all together, that's even great too. But you don't want that pattern to be created. It's like um, that that groove in a record. You know, like you you don't want it to sit there in that same groove over and over and over again. You want it to move. You want the needle to move. And sometimes the only way to do that is to put a scratch in that record. Okay? So as I was talking to her and trying to relay, like maybe there was some very good things. And actually I was actually uh, picking up that there was children around her. And actually she did have one who was four years old. And I said to her, I go, well... Why do you have so much despair when you have such a a lovely young person here that you can share your life with? You know, like, and and she was distraught because, let's put it this way, like, she she couldn't connect to other people. Like, she wanted to have somebody in her life that she could be in love with and and to be uh, connecting with and so forth. And the thing is, is that... Sometimes uh, that becomes, like I said, that that pattern, you know, like oh, what was me? And, and but you got to reach for the next best thing so that this way your life will start to change. You're, you know, like you got to keep moving forward. 
and you're, the foot has always got to cross over that line of safety and that comfort zone. And when you do that, your life is going to start moving forward a lot faster than you actually think. As they said, a journey of a thousand miles is, you know, starts off with one step at a time. So, I guess I have another caller, so if 857 could uh, be put through, Roz, thank you. That would be much appreciated. Hello? I heard something. Hello? Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm doing very well, thank you. So, good, how can I help good. you? Good, good. And what's your well, name? I didn't even my, get your name yet. I'm sorry, my name is Annette. Hi, Annette, how are you? Hi, so, I'm well, how are you? I, I, once again, I'm doing actually pretty well. <laughs> good. <laughs> of course I have it there. Uh, so, anyway, um, <laughs> what can I do for you today, Annette? Well, my question is in regards to a um, friendship relationship that I have with a gentleman. And um, we've, there's been like a lot of uh, um, tension. Yes. um, And anger. Gotcha. But we don't talk. We avoid conversation. So uh, yes. now we're so now we're at a point now where um something has has happened now where now he wants to sit down and talk about it and we haven't spoken in close to 6 months but we see each other on a daily basis Whoa. So yeah, not, I'm t- I'm talking not just casual conversation. I'm I'm talking like where where you're having a deep, you know, meaningful conversation with him in six months. We haven't. Wow. Okay. Well. Yeah. For starters, that is a very good thing that he's actually trying to do that. For starters. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and there is, let's put it this way, I am getting out of this is that there is a lot of let's put it this way a little bit of hard work involved here okay and i'm not going to lie to yeah you. this yeah. is you know like and even in the cards here it's kind of telling me that okay yeah it's possible that things are going to work out and i really do think that things are it's just but it comes down to like okay how much work are we willing to put towards them or that you're willing to put towards each other and so forth mm-hmm. okay so I well, you know, that I'm, you gonna, are I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to be very honest with you. Yes, you go right ahead. I am willing to do the work. Yes. I'm willing to do the work, but I can't do the work, and and I can't be the only one that that's trying to make this work. He has to participate in this as well. Yes. Now, non psychically. Uh, obviously, he's approached you now and said, "Like, okay, let's let's try to work something out, or let's try to discuss this or talk about it." Now, mm-hmm. uh, have you guys actually uh, worked on maybe a little bit of, let's say, for example, some counseling or anything like that? No, we're we're just friends. I mean, we're oh, trying just... to build a we're trying to build a friendship. Oh, I'm sorry. I was under the impression that you guys That's were okay. actually in, in that relationship because actually I was yeah. getting that. Let me put it to you this way. There is uh, some undertones of something there. Let's put it that way. Uh, what kind of undertones? Well, what kind of undertones? <laughs> well, it, honestly, it, there's, I'm kind of getting the feeling of a little bit of a romantic relationship almost. Uh, because mm. with... Even some of the cards that I was getting, there's a little bit of touching on the, eh, I don't know about the flirtatious side of things, but I guess you could say there's a there's a comfort level there that's almost like, I guess you could say, like in a couple, okay? Um, so, it just feels you like You may be right there. You may be, <laughs> okay. you have, but the, but the thing is, is that it's, it's not like a, it's like we argue like a couple, but we're not a couple. 
It's weird. They're kind of like, like the. Uh, I, I there's gotcha. something there, but yes. you don't talk about it. There's something there because there's so much tension that we're angry, and we haven't ah. spoken in six months. Wow. Even though we see each other, we see each other on a daily basis, and we don't connect. And that is what's really bothering me. It's because okay. I have to be the all the one that's always reaching. Ah, and I just I'm okay. at the point where I don't want to do that anymore. Well, now that well, let's put it this way, with you two being friends, okay, um mm -hmm. this gives you actually to be honest with you, in some ways it it does ease the tension here quite a bit, let's put it that way. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, because of the fact that you don't really have anything beyond that in some ways to really kind of lose, like even though that losing of the friendship is not really what you mm -hmm. want anyway. But the thing mm -hmm. is, though, is that it does kind of, like I said, make things slightly easier, okay? And I'll say slightly mm -hmm. with a largely exaggerated quotes around it. Uh, mm -hmm. But let's put it this way, though, okay? So uh, honestly, what it comes down to, honest conversation mm -hmm. and that's kind of what I'm getting here um, yeah. you know and if he is now opening up a little bit it means that he's kind of willing to kind of be I guess you could say be that person where he can be a little bit more vulnerable like I was saying earlier uh, and also mm -hmm. being a little bit more uh, wanting to create and connect again okay um, but he yeah. is the type of guy that let's put it this way um, mm -hmm. He does have that feel of, uh, I don't want to call it arrogance, but there's almost a little bit of... You're right. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Maybe it's a little bit of his own ego or something like that. Yeah. Um, but the thing is, though, is, is that I do feel that he is trying to move beyond that because he doesn't want to lose you as a friend either. He really does care about you. I really do feel that, and I really do think that really? he is very... Yeah, yeah, he does. Um, because even with some of the cards I'm getting here, too, is, is that he's really... He likes you. <laughs> Let's put it this way. Like, he really does. He really I'm... enjoys you. Like, he just... I think he misses... Uh, the conversations that you guys used to have. Yes, and the we had beautiful, yeah. and the connection was beautiful. And all of a sudden, the the it's like the bottom fell out, and it yeah. hasn't been the same well, for I that length of, of it, time. Is he is he actually married right now? Is it funny? Somebody else said the same thing. I don't know. I don't. I don't think so. I don't Honestly, think so. What I'm what I'm kind of getting is is that, and honestly, just from the feel of it, it just feels like there's somebody else that he is, mm -hmm. let's put it this way, maybe mm -hmm. romantically involved with, uh, mm -hmm. which is fine, you know, sort of thing. Mm -hmm. um, but the thing is, is that I think it makes it hard for him to, like within his own right, to connect uh, to you and exactly. therefore move exactly. on. Sort of thing. Yeah, and I think that's part of it. Uh, but mm -hmm. I think he, he doesn't want to lose the connection that he had with you, I think it just mm -hmm. comes down to, yeah, just having a, you know, like swallow, I guess you could say, a little bit of the pride a little bit too and, and just come right out and say to him, like, hey, let's go for coffee. Let, let's hash this out. Like, yeah. why haven't you talked to me in six months? <laughs> you know? And I, just, yeah, I kind of think you're right. Yeah, yeah. Allow that. You're right. I, Give yourself yeah. that. And you deserve that too. You deserve to know and you deserve to, you know, exactly. because, yeah, so don't. This has yeah. been going on for too long. It's been going exactly. on for too long. Six to, months. Because I Damn was, it. that's a long <laughs> time not to talk to, not to see each other. But see, I'm the one that's always making that initiation to have some type of contact. So it's like, yeah. if I don't initiate it, it's not going to happen. This, the only yes. reason why is he's initiated before, because I sent, because he exploded got very sensitive, which surprised me, in the kitchen. Yes. And oh. he he basically just said, you know, that I'm gullible and I shouldn't believe anything that he said. Okay. And that I believe well, that, that I trust his word and I trust him and I shouldn't I shouldn't believe him and trust him. And I didn't I'm like, where's this coming from? I'm like, I don't understand where's this coming from. Yeah. You well, told me you know, not to trust you. 
Yeah, I think there's just a lot. Like I said, he's got a lot of stuff on his plate right now. Mm-hmm. And I think what it comes down to is just have that honest conversation. Mm-hmm. Get it out in the open. Yeah. And go and move on from that. And then you'll know. That's exa- you'll know. That's exactly what I said. Because he's yeah. never initiated us uh, face-to-face. Everything has always been through text. Yeah. Everything has been through text. And I don't like yeah, that when I see no, him on a daily and basis. Let's put it this way. Yes, and you've got to have some, you know, like FaceTime or whatever. Like, it's always best to yeah. to share with friends when you're, in, you know, with them and so forth. So, yeah. no, no Of course. Just, yeah. Yeah, do that. Connect with them. Yeah. Like I said. Yeah. You know, and be honest. And just mm-hmm. and ask him to be honest with you back. And that's the biggest thing yeah. that you can only do. And you can never you can never turn your back on the honesty. You know this what I mean? That's true and that you know, Dennis, that's how I am. I'm 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 verbal and I'm yeah. honest in and and I think I might be too verbal and too honest with him. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's okay. And so, oh, so it so might rub his yeah, ego the wrong way. Eh, well, <laughs> and that happens too sometimes because we are guys. But anyway, yes. thank you very much for uh, for calling. Thank you. I, I hope that helped. Okay. Absolutely, <laughs> I appreciate it. Many blessings. You're very welcome. <laughs> Same All right, to bye-bye. You. Bye-bye. Okay. okay, so caller number two out of the way. We're just moving right along here, and wow, we only got like 24 minutes left in the show, and my goodness, that is just going really fast here. The other thing that I actually wanted to do here, too, is I just kind of wanted to uh, just kind of quickly talk about, I guess you could say, a little bit about soul connections uh, with somebody, and sometimes when you, and, and I get this quite a bit, actually, like with my regular reader, or uh, I guess you could say, uh people that are, you know, calling me and whatever, uh, clients, uh, let's put it this way, they're always kind of wondering, like, oh, do I have this, you know, am they're my twin flame or, or whatever. Well, I, I don't really look at things like twin flame so much as I do look at, let's put it this way, that there does seem to be, let's say, for example, some sort of soul connection. Sometimes the soul connections are not always going to work very well, and that's kind of the crappy part about it, you know, like that... that that does happen because sometimes a person comes into our life that we feel the strong, strong connection with. Um, but sometimes that person is meant to only be there to give us that nudge back in the right direction, get us back on our path, get us back into the groove, I guess you could say, of what we need to be or, or where we should be going within our own our own soul contract that we made before we actually came here to this planet. Um, so that's the thing there. Um, oh, and I guess I have another caller as well. So if I can get uh, caller 347, please, Roz, that would be fantastic. Hey, hello. Hey, how are you? <laughs> I'm doing well. I'm very doing good. very well. I Actually, what you were speaking about earlier, I'm going to do my little ritual tonight for the full moon. I'm going to take a spiritual bath. And I'm going to light a candle, and I'm going to write down my, I don't know what to write down for the full moon, because I, I, I know there's, like, a difference between the new moon and the full moon. So well, the full I, moon really does pull a lot of, because it's a, let's put it this way, if you want to get all science-y here, let's, let's put it this way, <laughs> like, it's, because of the full moon and so forth, what ends up happening is is that there's a, a it almost seems like the energy and the gravitational pull seems to be a little bit stronger, okay, and because we are electromagnetic in our design here, what ends up happening is is because you got such a large mass kind of moving across the Earth, and what is it doing? It's kind of pulling, I guess you could say, some of the energy away from us. So now is a good time for us to actually release that stuff. And that's an excellent okay, cool. idea. Yes. Yeah. What cool. The and also there's absence. a total eclipse. There's a total eclipse that's going to happen. So that's pretty cool. Oh, pretty that's awesome. Great too. Yeah. Yeah. That's actually fascinating. So that'd be interesting to see what happens there. That's we'll see. Sure. So my question for you. Okay. So obviously I have my doubts, but I'm, I'm trying to do this thing where I'm just staying positive. And I feel like I just 
I went through stuff my whole life to prepare me for the moment now, even though I'm not, I haven't stepped in the moment yet. I'm like saying I'm ready for it. I'm stepped in, but I'm manifesting a particular job. So I should give you, I was going to give you the particular name and the person who should be hiring me. So I want to know if I'm going to get the job at BAPE, if, if Craig is going to hire me at BAPE. I would, I would love to. I hope so. Okay. Well, let's see what the cards actually have here for me. Um, my initial reaction, though, as I am kind of giving the cards here, is that, yes, there is going to be some really positive things here. I am getting, though, that, let's put it this way, he is mulling things over. Uh, so it almost feels as if he's kind of thinking about things, wondering, like, okay, is this all a good fit, and so forth and so forth. Um, so it's kind of, that's what I'm kind of getting here a little bit anyway. Uh, and as I put out some of the cards, I am kind of getting, um, well, there's some really good possibilities here, actually. Okay. Um, now, the first thing also, too, that I'm kind of getting as well, uh, for you is, when, when are you supposed to find out about this? You know what? It's so up in the air because it's like kind of a luck thing. And this is like one of those, I'm from New York, by the way. And so this is one of those super exclusive um, streetwear brands. Like it's really, it's only one in, in the United States and the rest are in Japan and Hong Kong. So um, it's like one of those jobs that people fight to get, you know. But I know the the regular manager there and he put my, he put my resume in twice, and then I met the hiring manager just by going up there. So I haven't had an interview or anything yet, but, you know, I just followed him on the Internet, followed him on Instagram to remind me, like, hey, hey, I'm here, but I don't want to do too much, you know what I'm saying? So I'm chilling, trying to chill, but, I like, this job is for me. I feel like it's going to help me get my real career, which is music. I feel like it's... It's one of those jobs that so many celebrities come in, so many people respect you if you work there. I, I can really get my stuff going. So I'm like, I've been putting so much energy into this job. Like, there's so many jobs I can get, but I really want this particular job, yes. Yep. Well, what I am getting, though, is, is that, uh, like, the first thing, and the reason why I was asking about the, like, when are you supposed to hear about this, the first thing, that actually, that was coming up to me as I was uh, kind of tuning into that aspect of it was for you to actually, not so much like Instagram or Facebook or whatever, uh, that sort of connection, even though I know you kids are really into that nowadays. <laughs> But the thing is, is that what I would like you to do, though, is if you can, like to actually have a conversation with this person. I uh, did. I actually did. I had one conversation, but it wasn't an interview. So no, I don't know. No, if that's I... okay. But I'm, I'm okay. talking about like a follow-up sort of conversation, okay, uh, where you're actually going to be um, just say, hey, you know, like I, I know my uh, my things have gone through or whatever. I just want to, you know, touch base with you as, you know, and but be that confident sort of person there that, you know, that knows your stuff, that can actually, you know, that is very driven, that wants to kind of achieve certain things and say that, you know, like, you know, and say it in such a way where it sounds professional but yet lively and excited and so forth. Should I email to, him? Well, uh, you can as like maybe as a follow up to the conversation. Okay, okay so, so when, email you, when you email them just saying, Oh, to follow up to our conversation, this is you know, like who I am, blah 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 blah. See the thing is is that you can't get the emotion of who you are or whatever in a in the written form so much. You see what so I mean? So I need to like, go up there again. Yeah. That wouldn't be a bad thing. Uh, just because, like, what it does, one, it shows them that you're really interested, and two, it's uh, it puts a name to a face, and you can also, like, you are now broadcasting your personality to that person. You see what I mean? It, it, yeah. It's hard to broadcast that in a in a verbal form, like on an email or something like that. When you're up there and you're shaking their hand and you're, you know, your eyes are lit up, you know, with excitement and and so forth, and then all of a sudden that person is going to go like, 
holy crap, she's a bundle of energy. I want her. You see what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. That's the thing that sells you. That's the thing that's going to get you in that sort of position. And that's what I'm kind of getting here. You know, be confident. Be be more than who you are in a lot of ways. You see what I mean? Like, show them more than who you are right now. Be the yeah. person that you're going to be in five years where you're still working there and you're just, like, t- t- taking off like like a bat out of hell sort of thing. You know what I mean? Like, just, just get up yeah. there and... and be enthusiastic, basically. Okay, okay. cool. Yeah, yeah, I mean, hopefully, I, I mean, yeah, I hope so. I'm going to go up there this week. Good, 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 you good. Know? I'm glad. I don't know what day, but I need to just, I don't know when, but because I don't know when he works, when he doesn't work. Like, that's. Okay, well, find that out. And when you do. Get yourself, you know, in there to try to get an appointment or whatever and however it works, you know, with that with that company. But see what you can do anyway, okay? Yes. Yeah. So is it a blessing? Um, I'm, should I just go, like you said, I should just go up there, but should I email him and let him know I'm coming over there? Like, when is a good day to sit down and talk to you, or should I just pop up, like, there? Because this is a different... Well, I, uh, well, it is a little bit different because when you say to them, like, oh, is there a good day for me to come up, um, try to do it in such a way where it doesn't really give them much choice. So yeah. What I mean, what I mean by that is saying, like, okay, if you're going to be there Wednesday, um, I'm just so happens I'm going to be in the area on Wednesday, and I would like to just have a sit-down chat with you for even if it's five minutes, that would be fantastic. Okay, perfect. You That's see what perfect. I mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm just going to yeah. go Wednesday because I keep getting Wednesday. And since you said Wednesday without me saying Wednesday, I'm just going to go in there on Wednesday. I feel like that. <laughs> okay, no, I really feel. I feel like that's really, it's really good. Okay, cool. Thank you so much. Bless You're you. You're very and welcome. All that stuff. <laughs> and I wish you the best of luck. I hope you get it. Thank you. I hope so. You're welcome. Okay, bye-bye. Okay, and, oh boy, I got one more caller actually on the line here, so if I could get uh, Roz to bring through 262, please, that would be great. Please and thank you. Hi, this is Michelle. Hi, Michelle, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm doing very well, thank you. So what can I do for you today? Um, I was wondering what you see in my future, if I'm on the right path as far as career and love life or any kind of direction you see. <laughs> okay, well, <laughs> let's, uh, I only got a few minutes left here, so let's kind of narrow this down a little bit because what you're asking is, you know, let's put it this way, I could fill up an hour. Um, okay, well, how about um, maybe what's career? The most present? Okay, let's look at your career then. Um, okay. Hmm. I'm just giving the cards a quick shuffle as I kind of tune into you here, too. Um, you're right. Uh, the career thing does feel a little off uh, to me. Okay, so in other words, what I do want to say is is that it almost feels like you're, one, either not being challenged or it just uh, it just doesn't really feel like the right fit in some ways. Um, hmm. You definitely have a... Uh, uh, You have a good analytical mind um, because I, I'm actually getting a lot of, uh, let's put it this way, solar plexus sort of shock or color around you, which is like you're, uh, it feels like you, you have this thinking analytical aspect about you, okay, yeah. uh, which, mm-hmm. which is actually, actually pretty good. Um, but there's also another thing too here, and I'm almost kind of getting some blue uh, around you as well. Um, now, with blue, it comes from the throat chakra. So I don't know if you're... Hmm. I, hmm. The first thing that actually pops into my head is like something like a, like a real estate type of thing, and I don't know why I want to say that. Um, but there's almost an aspect of you, though, where you could actually sell something uh, very easily, it seems like. 
I know. It probably sounds a little crazy, <laughs> but it, but it, yeah. but it does feel like there's something about you though that where people are, let's put it this way, they're kind of drawn to you, and they're mm-hmm. actually kind of interested in you know what it is that you're you're wanting to let's say give or to whatever you know like the, you you just have that. Right. It just feels like there's a part of your personality which is actually uh, very good at. Uh, convincing others or something like that into the the worthwhile aspect of something. Okay, so now I'm saying real estate as a, let's put it this way, that's a general sort of term in some ways. You know, like it's just, it could be a, a... Oh, there's a. It could be like a selling sort of thing, even, or it could be just a, a um, like even motivating that type of thing. You know, getting a person motivated into doing something and that's the thing there because I'm, I'm just getting this blue around you uh it's almost like i said there, there's like that communication aspect about you that needs to kind of come out a little bit more uh i think what it comes down to too confidence even within yourself too okay because i do want to say is is that you've been kind of it feels like you've been kind of holding yourself back a little bit okay, okay. uh it's almost like you've been maybe Maybe you're not believing in yourself enough or believing that you can do something uh, because I really do feel that you're actually very capable and very able to actually um, do a lot of things if you allowed yourself to actually do that. It feels like there is going to be a change, okay, coming. And I do want to actually say that, uh, where something is going to come and you're actually going to, like, oh, okay, Maybe now is the time for me to actually start considering something of a new line okay. or something like that. Um, I'm getting a lot of creativity out of you, too. Like you just have a wonderful creative sort of aspect about you as well. Um, hmm. You ever thought about, it, let's say, even having your own business? Yeah. I have. I think that might not be a bad thing for you. But it's the, I'm it's, terrible at selling things, even though you said I'm not. <laughs> well, you'll learn it very fast. Let me put it to you that way, okay? Because if you're interested uh-huh. in having something of your own business, what do you end up doing? You know, like you are in essence basically marketing yourself, okay? Right. And that's why I struggle. Well, and that's maybe something that just needs to start coming out a little bit more. Okay, and what you can do, though, is um, start, like, okay, uh, when you're around, let's say, for example, your friends or something like that, uh, Mm -hmm. do you, are you one of those people that likes to sit in the corner and just listen? No, not at all. Good. (laughs) <laughs> and that's good. No, and that's a good thing. Because now, so just imagine everyone that you're talking to is actually listening to what it is that you have to say and what you're trying to say. That, that's not I mean? the problem. I'm good at that stuff, and you've touched on what I actually do do for a living, on, except for it has okay. nothing to do with real estate. But as far as getting people to do things, I am really good at that. But it's... Yes. Um, as far as selling things, I'm always like, oh, just take it for almost nothing. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, well, yeah, it's hard but that's for me to take that, other people's money. Like, well, that's something bad, that you learn. You know. Well, yeah. you know what? And that's something that, well, even psychics and so forth, like a lot of us will go through, okay? Uh, right. Because let's put it this way. Like we're the first ones to sit there and say, like, oh, you know, like I should be giving this away. You know this type of right. thing, or I should be doing this for free. And that's how I feel too. Mm-hmm. Me too. But giving things away for free doesn't. Let's put it this way: it doesn't put food on the table, and it doesn't right. uh, pay the mortgage either. So, right. and it, but, it's but it's I do have wonderful. another job. I have a regular job too. That's <laughs> fine. That's, no, no, and that's you know, okay. But, but if you if you want to turn something into something that's viable. Where, let's put mm-hmm. it this way: like being a business owner, okay, 
will actually, like, that'll challenge you to whatever extent, <laughs> just mainly because of the fact that all of a sudden the only person that you're accountable to is to yourself. Mm-hmm. Right. Okay, and that sometimes is the, the real draw there. See, the thing is, is that, and I'm not saying for you to quit your job or anything like that. Don't get me wrong there. I, I don't think, you know, like mm-hmm. for right now, no. Because you want to work on building up some, you know, the aspects of your business. And it may change, you know, like the, the mm-hmm. stuff that you like to do. But don't undervalue the stuff that you are producing or that you're making, okay? Because okay. what you're doing is when you undervalue something and you just kind of give it away, what are you doing? Mm-hmm. You're undervaluing who you are on the inside, too. So make certain, though, that you are, you know, um, charging something that's appropriate. You know, like I'm not saying like being out of out of left field or anything like that, but charge what's appropriate. Yeah. Okay. It's hard to like know said, what's this, appropriate, you know. Well, this is something that we all go through. Um, but like I said, you know, look at the other people that are producing something of a similar nature. Okay, and that's mm-hmm. the thing here. Look at what they're charging. Okay, and you got to mm-hmm. factor in things like, let's put it this way, how much does it cost for you to make this stuff? Right. You know, material wise. The area you live. Exactly, yeah. and, and, and how much and how much of your time are you putting into actually producing something? You see what I mean? So mm-hmm. don't ever undervalue who you are by giving something away so freely. You got to remember, even back in the day, and for other psychics that may be listening or whatever in right now, the thing is, is that um, even the shamans back in the day, or the seers, or the 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 village people that you know like everybody would go see as the healer or whatever you know they still mm-hmm. brought their their two chickens or a goat or whatever <laughs> you know that type right, of thing right you know like to provide something you know to sustain that person because they did provide a service and if right. you're providing a service you know make certain that you're you know like that you're giving of yourself enough to make it worth your while, and and it also rewards you, too, for the work that you're putting into it. You deserve to be rewarded a, that little bit. I think okay. I'm just torn between my job plus my creative endeavors, and I don't know which way to go or go both well, or what to do. I guess I just I may, feel a little unsure. Well, just take your time, and you'll know and you'll feel when it's right for you to shift altogether from one thing mm-hmm. into the next. Mm-hmm. When you start getting so busy with your part-time work, mm-hmm. you know, that's when you know that, oh boy, maybe it's time for me to take it to another level. Right. And a lot of people you, start off... Do you see that or anything? Are you doing no, to be honest with you, yeah, I do. <laughs> okay. I do feel that, to be honest with you. It's just that right now... You hold yourself back a little bit too much. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, feel, I, do. I do. Yeah, and I do feel, though, that things are coming. Um, you know, like it's just a matter of uh, how and when. Like I said, it, it's mm-hmm. honestly, it feels like it's going to happen very soon, where you're going to start, you know, like build, ramping yourself up a bit. But in regards to you actually leaving your, your regular job right now, no, I'm not getting that right now. But give it some time, okay. you know, and and but put who you are into it. But like I said, just to charge appropriately, and you'll never lose. Okay. 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 Thank you very much Thank for you. calling, and I I think uh, my time is almost up for today. Um, so anyway, I just want to, uh, say thank you to all my callers that were out there today, as well as I wish to say thank you to, uh, the lovely Tiffany that's, like I said, behind the glass curtain over there. Um, and with that, I didn't want to, I didn't get a chance to touch on some of my other things. Uh, once again, if you're interested in a reading, check out my, uh, website, DennisJAnderson.com. Uh, you can also reach me at 949-4, uh, or I should say 647-949-1429, and uh, 
and uh, drop me a line anytime if you just have a question that you just want to ask, uh, whether it be of a spiritual nature or whatever, uh, feel free to do so. And with that, thank you very much and have yourself a wonderful evening. Okay, keep your eyes closed. Okay. I want to show you my first ever painting. Mm, all right. Okay. Open your eyes. Oh, that's a lot of colors mm -hmm. <laughs> and shades. So be honest. What do you think? Well, uh, I like how if you switch to Geico, you could save hundreds of dollars on car insurance. Oh, yeah, that's, that's true. Yeah. Here, why don't I hold your paintbrush while you call them? Geico, because saving 15% or more on car insurance is always a great answer.